Tommy. Sonny. Obviously you are suffering from hearing problems, so I'll try again. Where's the goddamn money? Where's the goddamn stuff? And where's my gut on your new action? You are making an idiot out of me, Tommy, and I'm not laughing yet. How's filming going, Steve? Well, Candy is a natural. And that new girl, she's insatiable. She went through half the cast and crew before I even took a light reading. Anyway, hey, tomorrow we're going on location to shoot the boat scenes. Boat scenes? What boat scenes? The fishermen are in the throes of passion when the giant shark comes in. What'd I say about the giant shark? <sighs> I said, no giant shark, all right? Just keep the cameras Pointed at the poon tag. Okay, okay. Hey, Tommy, you guys got to try, right? You get those flyers printed up? Yeah, but nobody's going to let us distribute those things. I mean, they're just too, uh, they're unimaginative. You don't yeah. worry about that. I've got my own ideas for distribution. Okay. Hey, Candy, uh, in my trailer. to tell them to help themselves. That builds moral character, morality, Maurice. There's not much left in this city. Every time a culture has taken on the doctrine of helping your fellow man, we get thrown into the dark ages. Look at Russia. They keep trying to help each other out, extend a hand to a neighbor, and guess what? Every 10 years, someone's invading, burning down their homes, and taking their toilet paper. Napoleon, Stalin, Attila the Hun, all of them. After you read my book, you will understand. I may have been born in the sea, but I'm no dummy. Uh, are we going to talk about being naked? Yeah, <laughs> soon, Barry. Uh, keep your hair on and uh, uh, calm down, please, my friend. <clears throat> Divorce rates are up. Standardized test scores are down. Vampire sightings at the mall. Can the family be saved? Or, to put it another way, if we're meant to be monogamous, why weren't we born already married? Jan, over to you. Well... Since I'm a happily married mother, I know the family unit is the basis of all society. Now, even when my husband is working late or away on an extended business trip to Hawaii with his secretary, I understand just how important the family unit is in life. He's working hard so I can get another station wagon with even more wood on it. Go on. Tell me more about your family. Um, well, I like to compare it to nature. After all, it is one planet, even if we do just want to maim and kill each other, especially me. Now, look at sharks and sandworms. Oh, and one of my hobbies, besides making babies and criticizing people, is biology. You learn so much from nature. Now, people these days, they don't grow their own food. They can barely get out of their recliners and make it to the supermarket. <laughs> I tell you, there is nothing super about that place. Now, kids these days don't know how to preserve and can their own food. Now, no wonder all they want to do is play video games or hang out with their friends. What is it, the Degeneratron? What a crock of shit. Hey, <laughs> watch your language. This is radio. We have regulations about that sort of thing. But you let a naked man on. Yeah, he's behind the screen. You can't see him. It's not that exciting. Imagine a flabby guy with a ponytail and a nasty rash. You'll get the picture. Imagine one. I married one. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, you were discussing the Degenitron, which I understand is a games machine. Then you swore. I'm sorry. It makes me so mad. I mean, what I heard my son, Patrick the Third, I heard him using slang words in the house the other day. Rad and cool and stick it. I mean... I beat him to within an inch of his life, and he will never make that mistake again. Uh, Amer knows 
how to cook anymore. Nobody knows how to kill anymore. Nobody knows how to kill dinner. My daddy was a very...